Hi Sam, I'm Peter. Uh, Sam, we're going to try a little experiment here um, with ESP cards. You're familiar with these, yeah? Yeah, yeah? Okay, the five symbols. Now I want you to imagine that these cards are exactly the same as mine. Okay, so you've got one of each symbol there, so just hold on to those for a moment. But when Dr. Ryan invented these cards, there was two tests he used to do. The first one they called a taster test. It doesn't matter if you get it right or wrong, but what he would do is give the cards a shuffle, he would remove any card and ask you to get one of the images in your mind. Okay, so have you got one of the images? Yeah. Are you thinking of the star? No. What were you thinking of? Wedding. Were you? That's perfect, that's the one I'm holding. Now that's really strange, because you didn't have to get that right. But this is the test that he would do that would really prove if someone had some sort of psychic ability. Um, give your cards a mix-up, don't look at the faces, because I don't want you to influence your own choice in any way, shape or form. And as you go, I want you to sort of fan them in your hand, and just mentally pick one in your mind, one that you're going to hand me in a moment. But before you do that, I'm going to hand you one of mine. Okay. So any one of yours you want to hand me, just uh, just touch it or pull it out. This one, okay. Now that was a free choice. There's no way that I, I could have influenced your choice there. Okay. Um, if you were to take a guess what card you handed me, which one would it be? Uh, the star. The star. So look. The star, that's perfect. But remember, I handed you one as well. Have a look at one I handed you. That's a star. Now that's a match. But if I knew you were going to hand me the star before we started, would that be a little miracle? Yeah? Have a look at the rest of your cards. Do you play poker at all? A little bit. Well, I'm fascinated by the game of poker, so I've come up with my own game. It's slightly different because you don't actually have to wager any money, but you do have a chance of winning some, which is uh, £10. Fantastic. Um, and there's a couple of things that's quite strange about this game. One of them is that I use five cards from a red back deck. Okay. So keep hold of these, but don't look at the faces. And five cards from a blue back deck. Now the idea is we both mix our cards without looking at the faces, so give your cards a mix. Now what I will tell you is that there's one card in my hand that can give you a winning hand. There's okay. one card in yours that can give me a winning hand. Now the idea is, if I get the winning hand, I get my £10 back. If you get the winning hand, you get to take this home. Okay? But this all happens with our minds and it, it's sort of fate will determine who wins okay. okay so i'm going to hand you one of my cards and it's absolutely anyone i want you to go through yours face down and hand me any one that you feel this one yeah. okay now i didn't influence your choice it hasn't got a big tick on the back you didn't know which one no. to hand me okay place the card i handed you down onto the table for a moment and turn over the four cards in your hand let's see what you've got just turn them all over Perfect. So you've got two kings, two queens. So if I was to hand you a king or a queen, you've now got a full house. That's a yeah. fantastic hand. Turn over, see what we've got. So you've got a full house, three kings, uh, sorry, three queens over two kings, yeah. which is great. Let's see what I've got. I've got four spades. So if I was to get a spade here, I'd have a flush, but your full house would still beat me. There's only one card out of all the ones in your hand you could have handed me that would make me win. And that would be the jack of spades to create a perfect royal flush.